take a look at this penny. Now, at first glance, it's very unappealing. It's aged, dirty, worn, covered with years of crap. They say the penny has no worth, no value. You'll see it laying on the street and won't think twice to pick it up because of its reputation of being pretty worthless. And it's the darkest coin compared to all the others. This coin represents the Israelites. We are a dark people. At first glance, we are very unappealing. We're aged, dirty from our sins, worn out by all the nations that hate us because of who we are. We're covered in crap from the years of mistreatment to our people. The other nations tell us that we are worthless and we have no value. When we see our own people lying on the streets, we won't think twice to stretch out our hand and pick each other up because of our reputation of being pretty worthless. But what if I told you that this penny is actually worth something? What if I quoted Proverbs chapter 27 verse 17? Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. This is a carbon steel rotary brush. Its purpose is to remove rust and oxidation from other metals such as this penny. This brush represents the abrasive nature of the Bible in the right hands of a person that is not afraid to tell the truth of it. Let's see what happens when you rub two metals together. Look at that. Restored back to its original brilliance. When the scriptures are in the right hands, 
what comes out may seem very harsh, very abrasive, but it's for your restoration. The scriptures are designed to clean you up and allow you to shine, to restore you back to your brilliance. Now, on the flip side, this is a nylon rotary brush. It looks similar to the carbon steel brush. It's designed to clean and restore. This brush represents the scriptures in the hands of the Christian church and their pastors. Let's see what happens when you rub nylon onto metal. Do you see that? Not a damn thing changed. It remains in the same dirty, filthy, worthless condition because the scriptures are in the wrong hands. You remain in the same condition because the Christian pastor does not have the abrasive power of the scriptures to clean you up. They are not interested in cleaning you up because they are so focused on trying to steal your shine. Israel, it's time to wake up, rise, and shine.